All right, so now I'm going to go through some more examples using the order of operations, and I'm actually going to do uh, quite a few more. Um, so here we've got 18 plus 2 times 5. Well, again, the first thing we have to do, I see addition and multiplication. Again, the multiplication has priority, so we do this part first. So I'm going to have 18 plus, if I think about 2 times 5, well, that's just 10. Um, and then, well, 18 plus 10 is going to give us 28, and there's our solution. Suppose we have 125 divided by 5 times 4. Well, okay, now I see division and multiplication. And recall, division and multiplication, those have equal priority, okay? So, yes, on my little piece of paper, I think I uh, had multiplication higher. Uh, that's just how my mnemonic worked out. Um, again, but what you do is you do these left to right. So I say, well, they've got equal priority. I'm going to do the 125 divided by 5 first. Well, 125 divided by 5, that leaves us with 25. And then we still have to multiply by 4. Well, 25 times 4 will give us 100, and there is our solution. Notice if you did the multiplication, 5 times 4, you would get 20. And then 125 divided by 20, you get something much different. Okay, so another example, we've got 3 times 9 plus 4 minus 2 divided by 2. Well, again, I see multiplication and division. So those are going to uh, happen first. I'm going to do those, those operations first. So I say, well, 3 times 9, that's 27. So I'm combining those two. Plus 4, it's just hanging out. And kind of the way I think about this, I say, well, negative 2 divided by 2. I've got a negative divided by a positive, which is a negative. And then 2 divided by 2 would be 1. So negative 2 divided by 2 is just negative 1. And now all, all I have left is uh, addition and subtraction. So you can just do these left to right. Um, so 27 plus 4 uh, is 31. And then we subtract 1, and we get 30. Uh, notice you could have done 4 minus 1 and had 3. 27 plus 3 would also give you 30. So addition and subtraction, uh, it really doesn't matter if you do those left to right. You'll still get the same thing. But that's not the case with multiplication and division. All right, so now we've got 7 times the quantity 2 plus 3 plus 4. Okay, well, the first thing it said to do was look inside parentheses and brackets. So I see, well, a bracket here, and then I see parentheses. So I'm going to kind of keep moving inside. So I'm going to do 2 plus 3 first. Well, 2 plus 3 is just going to be 5. And, well, when we just have, let me write my plus 4 here. I'm getting ahead of myself. When we just have the two numbers together, what we really mean is we're multiplying. So 7 times 5 is going to give us 35, and you could still keep the brackets, but they're not necessary. So we have 35 plus 4, which is going to give us 39, and that's our solution. All right, I think I've got one more here. So now we have 8 divided by 4 plus 2 times 3 minus 4 times, or excuse me, minus 4 plus 5 plus 1. So a couple things here. Um, let's work inside the parentheses and brackets first. There, there's certainly uh, some steps we could do. We could do a lot of steps at once, but let's do it that way first. So to me, it looks like the most inside thing here is the 5 plus 1. We could actually do our division out front as well. I think I'll do that as well. So 8 divided by 4, that's just going to give us 2. 2 times 3, we can actually go ahead and simplify that as well. So that's 6. And now back inside of our brackets and parentheses, 5 plus 1 is going to give us 6. Okay, so now I'm just going to keep doing everything inside the brackets and parentheses. So let's see, inside the brackets, uh, now we've got 4 plus 6, which is going to be 10. Well, let's keep working inside the parentheses. 6 minus 10 is going to be negative 4. 
And let's see, well, 2 plus a negative 4, that's the same thing as 2 minus 4. And 2 minus 4 is going to give us negative 2. Okay, so again, kind of a lot of things happening here at once. Uh, you know, looking inside the brackets and parentheses. But then I see uh, subtraction and addition. So that tells me I can go ahead and do the division and the multiplication. Um, but again, when I first started doing these, you know, I would probably have even more steps than this. You know, I would do everything very slowly, again, uh, just making sure that I was doing everything in the correct order.